Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we got here to Different Town and we got a couple items like the Old Rod. We caught a tentacle with the Old Rod. Um, just as one of our permanent team members, you know, tentacle is gonna be my water type Pokemon for this walkthrough guide. Uh, we went through Granite Cave, we delivered the letter to Steven, we got the HM05, uh, I believe, 05 for Flash, and that's, I think that's the right number, 05 Flash, um, from this hiker dude, that was really nice. And we also got TM, was it 47 stealing, I believe, from Steven, because we delivered the letter to him, and he was really nice to us. He's even saying we could possibly become the Pokemon champ, if we work hard enough. So, at the end of the last part, I didn't say this in my commentary, but I did put text overlay saying that I raised all my Pokemon to level 18, excluding 1 and 2 of my two six goons right here, but Larry, one of them, of course, is uh, gonna be level 18 because uh, he's a temporary party member for like an HM slave, so yeah. I think he evolves level 22, so that's awesome, so he evolves into, I think, I knew at level 20, awesome, so that's close and nearby. So yeah, I'll go by the summaries, um, the only difference is that, uh, Tentacool when constrict at one level, I guess I put the level number on screen right now because I can't remember. Uh, for Grovile, I would, oh, it was basically raising at one level from 17 to 18. So, Grovile or Ge Geico, I must say Gecko, Geico, um, he didn't run any moves. Okay, yeah. Uh, Fighter, my Makuhita, he learned Vital Throw at level 13, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't think Zigzoon or Whaley learned anything new. I don't think so. So, yeah. I want to show you guys the items they got, though. Because, like, after every battle or every two battles, it seemed like these, all my three, my three Zigzoons that I have in my party picked up an item. And it was really cool, but I'll show you what items I got. I got, like, a addition to more items. I have 22 Super Potions now because of a, because of, um, pickup, which is awesome. I love the pickup ability. If you can, if you have, like, so many empty slots in your part at the beginning of the game, just catch a lot of Zigzagoons, because they have the ability to pick up, and they will pick up items for you. So that's how I got all these, all these free Super Potions. That's awesome. I also have seven floor stores, because, you know, again, pick up. Awesome. Uh, full heals, I got like six now. They've also picked those up. Uh, revives, I got five. Wow, okay. Uh, escape ups, uh, those are because I found one and I bought one, I believe. Nuggets, I've, they picked up two nuggets for me. Stardust, I found, uh, outside the granite cave. Rare candies, I have six, because I've, they've been picking up rare candies too. And they've been picked up two proteins for me and two PP ups. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put my P the two PP ups in the PC real quick. Um, so I'll be right back, actually. So I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah, the reason why I deposited my two PP ups uh, is because I'll need them for later, but I don't need them now in my bag, so I put them, you know, in the PC for now. Okay, let's start with the Vice Giver. Hey, how's it going, Champion Balance Steven? Defoot's Gym Leader Brawler commands Fighting type Pokemon. Going against him with normal type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Fighting Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal Pokemon, so be careful. What's the worst? What's worse, the gym is as dark as the ocean floor, but it can get brighter after defeat. But it will get brighter after defeating the trainers in your way. Okay, hey, okay, go for it. Thanks, man. Uh, different uh, town Pokemon gym, and that's all it says. I forgot to read the sign, so I'll read the sign real quick. Actually, I'm trying to remember that, you know. <laughs> yeah, for my Pokemon playthroughs. Okay, yeah. Okay, different town Pokemon gym waiter bro. A a big wave in fighting. That's awesome, I like that quote. Because it was in quotation marks. Okay, now let's get down to business. Okay, this is a dead end, so don't go that way. Okay, so up here, I think here is our first trainer. I have a uh, Metroid up front, okay, cool. Let's take the first trainer on. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to remember what the, pa the puzzle here. But yeah, don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. Okay, so it's not my fault if you cry after you lose to me. Okay, so here's a battle girl. I almost said fighter girl. Okay, battle girl. Meditate. Okay, meditate. Okay, so 14. Okay, cool. Let's go for the let's go for the supersonic and try to confuse it. And Metroid missed. Okay, let's get his bite. Okay, fine. Supersonic. Does it count as does it count if um you're using if you attacked yourself and I don't know unleashed energy or somehow that way because still took damage or something. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, go with still confu- I'm, I'm hoping supersonic and hit, but, uh, it looks like it's not gonna happen. Maybe I, how many supersonics did I use? I used like four or five, didn't I? 
I used four of them. Wow, all four of them missed. Let's go for the poison sting then. Of course she used detect. Jeez, this meditate's being annoying. Okay, but I want to always try to poison it because that'd be nice. Yeah, I did that much. Okay, let's get his bide. Finally, just supersonic again. There we go. Hits. Nice. Yeah, what's gonna happen now? Let's go store energy. Okay, let's go for that poison sting then. Oh, it's gonna unleash a little bit. It's gonna do double what I just did with that poison sting. Oh, it hits itself in confusion. Haha, <laughs> it does. Nice. This is actually working out. Stepped out of confusion, of course. Detect again. Of course, you use detect. You're just trying to stall. You know I'm gonna win, so you're gonna try to stall me. I don't appreciate that, man. Come on. Oh, confusion. That's gonna be super effective. I don't know why she didn't lead with that, you know? She could have fainted Metroid probably if her, ma if her chances were right with the confusion and stuff being super effective. Okay, I want this battle to be over, so luckily it'll be over because it's hurt by poison and it should faint it. There we go. Jeez, that was an annoying fight. Okay. We defeat Balgo War. Okay, wow, I lost. Thanks for the 336 Poké Dollars. It's not my fault that you cried there, man. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Don't go over here because it's a dead end. Okay, yeah. Over here is, I think, the Black Belt dude. So let's fight him, I guess. Might as right, come on. Yeah, okay, whatever you say, whatever you say, you buck belt guy. Let's go for the poison sting, I guess. Okay, so we're on us, so it's gonna use a Metroid, I should say. Okay, fine. You know, I'm gonna try to confuse it because it's high attack stat will do wonders for us if uh, it's self confusion. That'd be nice. And Supersonic Hit on the first try, that's awesome. Okay, so let's go for the poison thing again. This my trap is level 14, so we're four levels higher then, so that's good. Karate Trap, okay, nice. Good for you. I think a couple more uh, poison things should faint it as long if I can get this much up to still hurt itself confusion. There we go, nice. So two more poison things should faint this thing, or one poison sting, and if it hits itself confusion or poison happens, that's also good too. Snapped out confusion. Oh no, dang it! It's getting a little kick on us now. Oh shoot! Put in the reds. Jeez. Okay, yeah. There's that. We defeated Black Belt Hideki or something like that. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Sorry, man. Not enough power. Thanks for 448 Poké Dollars. So don't feel bad about yourself. Don't feel down. And as you see, like the light is getting a little bit better uh, after you beat your trainer. Uh, it should have gone through the route you could have taken uh, without battling your trainers. But basically, what you do is go the way I was going. Well, I think you have to battle the first battle girl or crush girl. Battle girl, I think, is what the Tyrion type is. And then go right and then down, and then you should make it to the gym later easy. I think you only have to battle one trainer. I think you have to at least battle one trainer to 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 uh, to, uh, to get to Brawly. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to, uh, Gecko, or not Gecko, Geico. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here's another battle girl. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. We'll see about that. Battle girl Tessa. Nice. Let's see here. Um, let's see what quick attack does. Oh, of course you can use detect. Of course you are. There we go, I did about one third, nice. It's good confusion. Good thing Geico is a po uh, pure grass type instead of grass poison. That would have been super effective. Let's get his bite, but let's use quick attack to finish it off. There we go, nice. Another Meditite, okay, cool. She has two Pokemon, so two of them are Meditites, though. So that's okay with me. This one's also level 12, nice. Let's get his Meditate to raise its attack and defense. Is that what it does? Attack. Oh, just raise this attack. Okay, cool. Good for you. Excuse me, meditate again. So I'm just gonna use quick attack to finish this thing off. Hopefully it'll hit, you know, that'd be awesome. There we go, nice. 
my chop is next. Okay, cool. And I f if I didn't already mention that uh, my chop is pure fighting type, and then my type psychic and fighting. So yeah, so my chop is level twelve. Awesome. It's gonna use we're on Geico, but that's okay. Geico will stand strong. He's a fighter. He's a hard worker. He's gonna well kick on us. Okay, fine. Let's choose another quick attack. And I'm just spamming quick attack. I just realized that, like, I'm just using quick attack, really. It's getting pumped trying to raise the chance of getting quick hit, but, I'll f but luckily, we fainted the Machop. So it doesn't matter. Almost level 19, wow, okay. But how? How could I lose so easily? I'm just a stronger trainer, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for the $288. But don't feel bad about it. Don't feel down on yourself. Don't feel like, don't kick yourself around. It's okay, I'm gonna go back and heal out the Pokemon Center, so I'll be right back. Okay, so, I'm gonna put Metroid back up at the front. Yeah, okay, cool. Now let's go through this puzzle one more time. So we can go right, then up, then to the left, then up again, and then to the right, and then down, and then to the right again, and then up, and voila, yeah, Broly, nice, the gym waiter. Let's talk to him. I'm Broly, the Fritz gym waiter. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. So you wanted to challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. You know, Broly's kind of like a surfer dude. He's like chill and laid back, I guess. Which is cool for a gym waiter personality. You know, no one wants to be too serious all the time. Because that's just crazy. Yeah, he has my chopper level 17. Awesome. Let's go for the supersonic. Let's see if we can confuse it. Okay, supersonic hits. Now, supersonic, again, doesn't have the best accuracy, so that's why I was missing four times in the first battle of this gym, basically. So, yeah, okay, it, it had self confusion. Awesome. Let's go for the poison thing. Hopefully, we can get that poison hack, you know? Get it poisoned. <laughs> it's not that confusion of great, great, great. That's awesome. And seismic toss will always do the equivalent, the amount. The HP equivalent to the Pokemon's level. So, for example, that my chop is level 17, so it did 17 uh, da HP worth of damage on Metroid. Because, you know, 45 minus 17 is 28, so there you go. Your little math lesson for the day. Haha. <laughs> Even though it's just simple subtraction. Yeah. A uh, karate chop, all critical hit, of course. So, well, he's got the poison on it. Poor Metroid. I'm gonna switch to fighter then. Yeah. Now I'm gonna use vital throw, which I think does 70 base power, but it never misses. But it always you always go second when you use the move, but it never misses, and it's like 70 base power, I believe. So this gives bulk up. That's not good. It's gonna use its attack and defense stat. So that's great for you, I guess, bro. But not for me. Hopefully this vital throw knocks it out. Nope, it doesn't. But uh. Uh, the poison might even not knock it out. Yeah, I knew it was good. It was gonna survive by a little bit. I could use tackle on this thing. No, you guys use super potion, of course. Of course, probably. You just always have to be a pain in the butt. Although it was in the red zone for HP, so it's, I, I'm not really surprised that much that, you know, probably decided to heal there, but, you know. We're one level higher than this thing, so that's good. Uh, it goes with the seismic toss again, or on a fighter at least, my Makita. I'm gonna hopefully finish it with another vital throw. Hopefully the poison will help finish it off. Of course, the karate chop. Jeez. You're knocking out my Pokemon off and right. I can't even get past them a chop, and he's already fainted two of my Pokemon. Well, that's, that ends now, because I'm gonna use Quick Attack. Of course, you're gonna use a Super Potion. You're just afraid that I'm eventually going to beat you. Jeez. Okay, fine. We'll go for the Bolt Seed. Uh, but I always do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, there we go. If it hits five times, that'd be awesome. I jinxed it. I only hit twice. You better, you better be done with using super potions, bro. I'm, I'm starting to get a little worried because I have uh, three six goons basically. One's level eighteen, but still, they're not. <laughs> okay, it's your fighting type Pokemon. I don't think they stand a chance that. So I'm gonna hope that that's your last super potion that you use. Because the real third hasn't even appeared in the battle yet. Jeez. There goes the Machop, at least. That's good. Took three of my Pokemon to defeat one of his. So that's not good odds. The guy goes in level 19, though. So that's awesome. And Makita will stay in. Yeah, it's the best bet to stay in. So Makita's level 18. Okay, so that's awesome. Let's go for the 
bullet seed, I guess. This might be hard. Uh, you know, the rest of the battle just deter just is basically based on luck. Because I'm using bullet seed, it, it can hit two to five times. Um, or it will hit two to five times, and I got I think it hit three times right there, so that's awesome. Oh, and his it's his moves are also luck based too because he may not have reversal the move reversal on his market in this game, and we've been set fired, but I know he does an emerald, so. Yeah, arm thrust always hits twice, two or three more times, three or two or three times. Oh no, this is bad. Okay, before I faint, I'm gonna actually use uh, one of some of my own super potions. Cause if I if Ge if Geico faints, you know it's really, it's a bad situation. There we go, nice. Okay, this stupid Makuhita needs to go faint. Okay, there we go. Fine. Fine. Let's go for the quick attack. Knock off. Okay, it's gonna knock off uh, Geico's Miracle Seed, but that's okay. I'm using quick attack anyway. Please faint. Okay, thank you for the quick hit. That could have been really bad if I didn't get a quick hit there. It could have been. I don't know. But it looks like we could have fainted it without the quick hit, but you never know. We defeated Broly. Okay. Yeah, he's a tough... He, he is a tough cookie. He is a tough gym leader, honestly. If you want to have an easy time with this gym, I went from Trigger Kermit's Emerald video when he was doing a Pokemon bio on uh, the, the Pokemon Sableye, which is, I think, a, I think an Emerald. You can only catch it in Emerald uh, in the Granite Cave, at least the basement floor, where it's uh, where you find like the Everstone and all that. Um, that's they're ghost and dark types, so like none of uh, I think all yeah, Sableye basically. It doesn't isn't affected at all by uh, normal or fighting type moves, because it's ghost for the normal and then fi uh, f dark for the um I guess ghost for the normal and the fighting type moves. So if you want to have an easy time with this gym battle, at least in Emerald, I believe you can just catch your Sableye. But I went the hard way because I wanted the experience for my Pokemon and stuff. So yeah, there's my little spiel. Sorry for talking so long. Okay, about that, but I wanted to explain it. Whoa, wow, you made, you made a much bigger splash than I expected. Thanks, man, you swamped me. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. We got the... Thanks for the 1,800 Pokedores, probably. And after the battle, everything turns to, um, light. When darkness turns to light, it ends tonight. Oh, man. I might get copyright claim for that. I don't know. Uh, it's okay. It's whatever. I just wanted to sing that song. It's one of my favorite songs at the moment. And it probably will be one of my favorite songs of all time. Because it's a good song. I think the Great American Rejects sings it or something. I forget. <laughs> the Knuckle Bags makes all Pokemon up to level 30. Even those you got in, a tra in trades obey without question. And you'll be able to use the HM move Flash outside of battle. If you'd like, use this Technic Machine too. We get TMOA, which is bulk up, which raises the attack and defense stats stages by one. Cool. That is TMOA contains bulk up. It contains moves that um, it contains a move that raises both attack and defense stats. Now, technically, you could skip Raleigh and not get his and not get the knuckle badge and just and just continue on with the game. But if you want to, you know, of course, battle the Pokemon League in the Elite Four. Um, you want to be broad because technically I showed in the last part how you can get through Granite Cave without even using Flash Because I've done that puzzle so many times before It's like I know it by the back of my hand basically <laughs> well, Not basically I just know it, you know Here's the, let's talk to the Vesca again. Whoa, it turned too bright in here. Your future is bright too. Thanks, man Do for town Pokemon gym uh, Broly certified trainer Steven awesome That's good news so we are basically done in uh, Do for Town for now. I'm, we'll come back to you later after we get the um, fifth gym badge, which is our dad's gym badge, the balance badge. Because um, in this house right here, this a trainer, or uh, uh, yeah, I guess a person. Well, I don't know if it's a trainer exactly, but a person in this house will give you the TM thirty six sludge bomb, I believe. Or I know, I don't know if it's TM thirty six or like the number, but yeah, and we'll teach that to. Um, I'll teach the Metroid, you know. Oh, cool. One picked up something. Let's see what it is. It's a nugget. Wow, cool. I'm going to go in the Pokemon Center and heal because I desperately need to heal. So I'll be right back. After that's all done. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Let's put... 
Where are you? Right there. Yeah, switch to where and um, get, get go, or get go. I keep on calling it get go, jeez. Okay, so, I'll keep Metroid up front, I guess. And what we want to do now is sail to Slayport. So let's talk to Mr. Briny. Ahoy, for you I'll go out to sea anytime. Now my friend, where are we to bound? Let's go to Slayport, yeah. Slayport, is it? Uh, anchors away, Pico, we're setting sail up my darling. Nice, and we got through all these water routes. This is one way, right? one, we're at 107, as you saw right there. On the top of the screen, here's route right, 108. Ooh, look, abandoned ship, ha <laughs> ha. We can tell that later. We're at 109. So he's crossed three routes in, in like only 10 seconds or less. Really. That's awesome. Because the boat's so fast. Ahoy, we've made land in Slayport. I'm supposed, you're supposed to go visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods. Yes, I am. So, let's see here. Let's, let's take on this, uh, let's take on this guy. I, if I wear the anchor and, in ports around the world, but sleep ports the best. I've went, I've weighed anchors in ports around the world, but sleep ports the best. That's good, but that's also an opinion, too. So it's not a fact. It's an opinion, Sailor Huey. Okay, so he has Machop. Okay, cool. That's great. That's great, man. Let's go for the poison sting. I could have gone for the supersonic to like, confuse it, but depending on. Okay, I'm probably gonna get back to this. I'm probably gonna confuse it too, but it's also poison. So that's, so that's awesome. Yeah, it's gonna use focus energy trying to raise its chance of getting a critical hit. Okay, that's not good. Let's go for the supersonic then. Yeah. It's gonna use. Okay, it's gonna help me hit itself in confusion. It does. Awesome. Nice. It's 50% chance that it will, and 50% chance that it will not hit itself in confusion. So, yeah. Let's go for the poison sting then. Same type of attack bonus, baby. Same type of attack bonus, if I don't explain, is if, like, say, for example, Metroid uses Poison Sting. Since Metroid is half Poison type, it'll get, it'll get, um, it'll do at least, uh, I think 1.5 times normal damage on any Pokemon that doesn't resist it. If it's super effective again, like a Grass type Pokemon, it's gonna be super effective, and it'll do more. But I think it'll always do a normal 1.5 times on any Pokemon that doesn't resist it, or, is not super effective exactly. Hopefully that made sense. I hope I think I explained it well enough, but I'm sorry if I didn't explain it. If you have any questions about that, I can try to answer better in the comment section down below if you want to leave a comment saying that you don't get it. Then I'll explain it to you in the comments if you want. But it's up to you. Okay, there goes my shop. Okay, yeah, so he was defeated. Cool. You're the best. Thanks, man. Thanks for 48 Poké Dollars. How many Poké Dollars do we have right now? Because we should have a lot. Because we sold the Nugget at least once in this playthrough so far. 11,839 Poké Dollars. Oh, and also we got the second gym badge. It looks like a knuckle. It looks like a boxing glove. It looks like a knuckle. I meant to say boxing glove. My bad. Okay, yeah. That's cool. I think if you talk to this person, you should give the sand. Uh, soft sand, which raises the one of these tubers, I think. Yeah, this one. Okay, cool. The one in the pink tube, inner tube. The soft sand will raise the power of uh, ground type moves. That's pretty cool. Do I don't think I have any ground type Pokemon right now. Do I? Nope. Okay. But also two. But instead, two picked up an item. It's a full heal. Awesome. Cool. Uh, let's go and talk to this or battle the sailor. You have to talk to him or get right in front of him. Burp, burp. I think that's like a burp sound he's making. Battle with me? Sure, why not? I think you also have a Machop, but you also might have a Wingle too. I think you have two Pokemon. It's a Wingle and a Machop. That's my guess. Oh, I three Pokemon. I was off already. But one's a Wingle, so that's cool. Let's go for the Supersonic on this thing. Supersonic missed. Because that's poor accuracy, so ah. Trying to do the same thing. Okay, fine. We'll switch to, uh. Switch to Wary, I guess. Come on, Wary. You got this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's get his water gun. Okay, cool. That's just great, man. Give this guy a medal. Give this Winkle a medal, please. Oh, flinched awesome. That's good for us. Let's just tack on it to help you finish it off. It does. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I'm chop. Okay. Uh, let's go for um, the Metroid again. My tentacle. Gotta be cool. Tentacle. Okay, so let's use a uh, supersonic on this thing. 
I missed. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just try to. I'm just gonna end up spamming poison sting because I don't want to keep on trying to hit, uh, trying to confuse this Machop when I could try to poison it and just try to knock it out eventually with poison sting. It's gonna use Lear on Metroid, which is, which is which lowers its defense stat by one stage. Cool. This Machop is level 12. It's male. Cool. Uh, poison at that time. Awesome. So it's gonna use a low kick. Oh my gosh, critical hit, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna use another super potion because I don't really want to switch out. I think that Metroid can take on this uh, Machop. So yeah, it's gonna use a low kick again. Okay, that time, was a, that time it wasn't a critical hit, so that's good. Uh, let's see, let's see. I also want to use Poison Sting because it's still the same type of attack bonus. I was thinking about using Constrict this turn, but I'm gonna stick with Poison Sting. Let's use a little kick again. Oh my gosh, another quick hit. Yeah, we're gonna have to make me. I have so many super potions, it's okay. That I'm using a lot of them, but I still want. I just want Metroid to get this experience from this Machop because it could possibly. I don't think it'll over up to level 19, but it could. Yeah. Now I'm gonna hope that Metroid is faster than this Machop. I think it is. So let's go for the poison thing. Awesome, nice. The should faint it. It does. Nice. I like it. Yeah, okay, didn't quite didn't quite level it up, but that's okay. Let's stay in for the wingle, but let's do the little switcheroo trick so that way Larry and Metroid get experience. Yeah, the CSO has two wingles and a Machop. That's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for missing with that supersonic. Let's use it for the head, but maybe I can make it flinch. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Faint it one hit. Awesome. Okay, yeah, we fit so I'm in. Erp, oh, erp. <laughs> you kind of have a burping problem, I guess. You gotta burp yourself out. So you don't have that all in your system and have a stomach ache. I don't know. Thanks for the thing you did for Pocket Dollars, man. Uh, let's do one more battle. Um, I'll skip Metroid up front, though. Because Metro is so close to level 19. I'm thirsty. I could go for a soda pop at the seashore house. Well, why don't you? This is a tuber guy. Tuber boy. I don't know, I don't know what the trainer type is. Tuber Ricky. It's just tuber. Okay, tuber Ricky. Cool. It's Machop. Uh, not Machop. This is Zigzagoon. I think this Zigzagoon knows Surf. So keep that in mind. Um, I, it's not that big of a deal because it's only level 14 Zigzagoon. But yeah, right there, that's Surf. So that's pretty cool. And only one hit point on Metroid, this, that's awesome. Yeah. Poisoned it, awesome, nice. Good job, Metroid. Good send attack on us. Uh, hopefully... This thing might also know Headbutt, jeez, that's what worries me. I'm gonna switch out to, uh, Fighter then. Yeah. I don't wanna take the risk of it. Headbutting, uh... Metroid and fainting Metroid, so that'd be bad for us. We don't want that to happen. Let's go for the um let's go for the arm thrust. I kinda went okay, it doesn't okay, the zigzagoon's faster than Fido, okay, fine. Cause it I want the, I wanted the arm thrust to go first, where Fido to use arm thrust first. Before the zigzagoon use its move, so that's why. Metroid's on level nineteen, awesome. Metroid learn acid, cool. I kind of wanted to learn Bubble Beam, but it's probably not till later, apparently. But that's okay, Esther is still a cool move. Yeah. If you're too Ricky, awesome. Grown. Sorry, man. Thanks for 56 Poké Dollars. I meant to say 56. So I corrected myself. So. Yeah, where well, he has an item, so let's take it from him. Super Potion, okay, cool. Let's just switch Metroid and Fighter, I guess. Cool. And yeah, so this has been the, my. I'm gonna end the part right here. So yeah, so this has been the, my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walk Third Part. The next part, we'll take on more of the beach and take on the seashore house because there's a few trainers we can beat to get a half dozen soda pops. Six soda pops, maybe. Um, and uh, we'll hopefully make it to Slayport City and deliver the Devon goods and stuff. And maybe move on from there. So yeah. So this has been Jenko again. I would like to mention again goodbye. And I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide.